It's hard to imagine modern production without using the technology of metal welding. This especially concerns fields which involve constant use of various steelworks. There are many different kinds of welding, which are used in all kinds of environments, from outer space to underwater drilling. Undoubtedly, welding machines play the main role in this work. Today in Made in Ukraine, we'll tell you about how welding machines are produced in Ukraine. Every welding machine begins at the design stage. This laboratory is the very place where different kinds of welding machines are developed. For instance, this prototype is almost ready. Here, engineers develop software upgrades and upgrades for certain parts of the machines that have already been created. Laboratory workers also make circuit boards for the machines themselves. This is what a 3D model looks like. Each unit is drawn out and designed here. The assembly process is based on this model. And this is what various prototypes look like. They might seem unseemly from the outside, but these are just samples. And depending on how they perform, the constructors will improve their inventions. Developers conduct numerous tests and trials, loading the samples in different ways. The main task is to find out how closely the potential finished product will correspond to its designed functionality. At first glance, the process of welding seems unremarkable. In reality, it includes eight different types of welding, such as manual consumable electro-welding, argon tungsten arc welding for aluminum, and others. The latter is a very interesting type of welding. The main difficulty is the presence of an oxide film on aluminum surfaces, which prevents the parts from joining. In order to destroy this film, a heteropolar pulse welding is used. This is how the process goes. Gas flows and an arc is lit between the metal and the electrode. The latter is made of non-melting material, tungsten. The first pulse destroys the oxide film, and while the second pulse melts the metal. As soon as the arc is extinguished, an oxide film forms on the aluminum surface. That is precisely what causes difficulties in welding aluminum. This type of welding is used for creating complex parts, such as automobile frames, and in certain situations where lightweight materials are crucial. Seams must be given special attention during the welding process. The protective layer of an electrode adds durability to the seam, making it even stronger than the bulk metal itself. However, if the welding mode or technology is incorrect, cracks might appear between the seam and the bulk of metal that did not melt. This welding machine is capable of several welding types at once, manual arc, argon arc, and semi-automatic welding. It is a sort of universal welding machine which allows for easy switching between various welding modes and has a much higher level of productivity in a smaller amount of time. In the mechanical workshop, the workers make heat sinks for cooling units. They are designed to cool down the elements of the welding machine which emit a lot of heat, such as diodes and transistors. The heat sinks are drilled, prepared, and fit with mounting supports here. Next, the heat sinks are sent to the workshop for soldering and assembly. There, they are installed on the circuit boards. The main actions conducted on the heat sinks in this workshop include drilling, thread cutting, and fitting mounting screws or supports. In the fine soldering workshop, input relay units are assembled. They keep track of voltage in the mains, thus protecting the machine from electrical damage. Some other assemblies are also put together here. In the coarse soldering workshop, motherboard circuits for welding power sources are assembled. Here, transistors, diodes, and other elements are embedded into circuit boards. Much of this work is done manually. After soldering, the circuit boards are flooded with lacquer in order to prevent short circuits. Along with modern welding machines, classical, large, high-powered industrial units are made here as well. Large parts, such as connectors, coils, and other elements for such machines are created on the routing and turning line. The 
The Transformer Workshop provides the welding machines with transformers. Like before, these units are still an important part of the power source of any welding machine. The transformer coils are created in a neighboring workshop called the Preparation Workshop. In the Preparation Workshop, a copper band is cut to the required length, bent, and sent for soldering. Wires are also cut in the same workshop. The machine strips the ends of the wire automatically. And this is what a frame for transistor coils looks like. The copper band is wound into the frame. Separate parts of the welding machines, transformers, power supply units, circuit boards, are all end up here in the workshop. It is here where the welding machines assume their final look. Assembly is a gradual process. There is a certain order in which legs, fans, transformers, and circuits are installed in a modular way. The cables for the welding machines are prepared in another workshop. Each machine has a corresponding set of cables with different gauges. The cables have a special double layer rubber protection. The power source after final soldering is sent to the final test. Each machine is tested on a stand according to the following parameters. Nominal welding voltage, duration of nominal load, different mode operations, and other. After the machine has been tested, it is once again flooded with special lacquer and fit with a cover. Each machine gets its own serial number and is packaged in a separate box according to its technology. Then it is sent to storage and from there sent to the end user.